A polarin is a quasiparticle used in condensed matter physics to understand the interactions between electrons and atoms in a solid material. The polarin concept was first proposed by Lev Landau in 1933 to describe an electron moving in a dielectric crystal where the atoms move from their equilibrium positions to effectively screen the charge of an electron, known as a phonon cloud. This lowers the electron mobility and increases the electron's effective mass. The general concept of a polarin has been extended to describe other interactions between the electrons and ions in metals that result in a bound state, or a lowering of energy compared to the non-interacting system. Major theoretical work has focused on solving Froelich and Holstein Hamiltonians. This is still an active field of research to find exact numerical solutions to the case of one or two electrons in a large crystal lattice, and to study the case of many interacting electrons. Experimentally, polarons are important to the understanding of a wide variety of materials. The electron mobility in semiconductors can be greatly decreased by the formation of polarons. Organic semiconductors are also sensitive to polaronic effects, which is particularly relevant in the design of organic solar cells that effectively transport charge. The electron phonon interaction that forms Cooper pairs in low TC superconductors, type 1 superconductors can also be modeled as a polarin, and two opposite spin electrons may form a bipolarin sharing a phonon cloud. This has been suggested as a mechanism for Cooper pair formation in high TC superconductors, type 2 superconductors. Polarins are also important for interpreting the optical conductivity of these types of materials. The polarin, a fermionic quasiparticle, should not be confused with the polaridin, a bosonic quasiparticle analogous to a hybridized state between a photon and an optical phonon. Topic: <laughs> Polarin theory. The energy spectrum of an electron moving in a periodical potential of rigid crystal lattice is called the block spectrum, which consists of allowed bands and forbidden bands. An electron with energy inside an allowed band moves as a free electron but has an effective mass that differs from the electron mass in vacuum. However, a crystal lattice is deformable and displacements of atoms ions from their equilibrium positions are described in terms of phonons. Electrons interact with these displacements, and this interaction is known as electron phonon coupling. One of possible scenarios was proposed in the seminal 1933 paper by Lev Landau, which includes the production of a lattice defect such as an F center and a trapping of the electron by this defect. A different scenario was proposed by Solomon Pecker that envisions dressing the electron with lattice deformation, a cloud of virtual phonons. Such an electron with the accompanying deformation moves freely across the crystal, but with increased effective mass. Pecker coined for this charge carrier the term polarin. L. D. Landau and S. I. Pecker formed the basis of polarin theory. A charge placed in a polarizable medium will be screened. Dielectric theory describes the phenomenon by the induction of a polarization around the charge carrier. The induced polarization will follow the charge carrier when it is moving through the medium. The carrier together with the induced polarization is considered as one entity, which is called a polarin see fig. 1. While polarin theory was originally developed for electrons as dressed charges in a crystal field, there is no fundamental reason held against any other charged particle which might interact with phonons. Therefore, also other charged particles such as electron holes and ions should generally follow the polarin theory. Recently, the proton polarin was identified in experimental work on ceramic electrolytes after hypothesis of its existence. A. Braun, Q. Chen A. L. Samgan A conduction electron in an ionic crystal or a polar semiconductor is the prototype of a polarin. Herbert Froelich proposed a model Hamiltonian for this polarin through which its dynamics are treated quantum mechanically Froelich Hamiltonian. This model assumes that electron wavefunction is spread out over many ions which are all somewhat displaced from their equilibrium positions, or the continuum approximation. The strength of the electron phonon interaction is expressed by a dimensionless coupling constant α introduced by Froelich. In Table 1 the Froelich coupling constant is given for a few solids. The Froelich Hamiltonian for a single electron in a crystal using second quantization notation is H equals H E plus H P H plus H E 
minus p h display style h equals h underscore e plus h underscore p h plus h underscore e p h h e equals k s she k s c k s c k s Display style h underscore e equals sum underscore k s she k s c underscore k s caret dagger c underscore k s h p h equals q v omega q v a q v a q v display style h underscore p h equals sum underscore q v omega underscore q v a underscore q v caret dagger a underscore q v h e minus p h equals one two n k s q v gamma alpha q k v omega q v c k s c k minus q s a q v plus c k minus q s c k s a q v Display style h underscore e p h equals frac one s q r t two n sum underscore k s q v gamma alpha q k v omega underscore q v c underscore k s caret dagger c underscore k q s a underscore q v plus c underscore k q s caret dagger c underscore k s a underscore q v caret dagger the exact form of gamma depends on the material and the type of phonon being used in the model. A detailed advanced discussion of the variations of the Froelich Hamiltonian can be found in J. T. de Vries and A. S. Alexandrov. The terms Froelich Polarin and Large Polarin are sometimes used synonymously, since the Froelich Hamiltonian includes the continuum approximation and long range forces. There is no known exact solution for the Froelich Hamiltonian with longitudinal optical low phonons and linear. Gamma display style gamma the most commonly considered variant of the Froelich polarin despite extensive investigations despite the lack of an exact solution some approximations of the polarin properties are known the physical properties of a polarin differ from those of a band carrier a polarin is characterized by its self energy delta e display style delta e an effective mass m display style m caret asterisk and by its characteristic response to external electric and magnetic fields e g dc mobility and optical absorption coefficient when the coupling is weak alpha display style alpha small the self energy of the polarin can be approximated as delta e omega approximately equals minus alpha minus 0.01591962 alpha 2 1 display style frac delta e hbar omega approximately alpha minus 0.01591962 alpha caret 2 q quad q quad q quad 1 and the polarin mass m display style m asterisk which can be measured by cyclotron resonance experiments is larger than the band mass m of the charge carrier without self-induced polarization m m approximately equals 1 plus 
alpha 6 plus 0 O two three six alpha two two display style frac m caret asterisk m approximately one plus frac alpha six plus zero point zero two three six alpha caret two q quad q quad q quad two when the coupling is strong alpha large a variational approach due to Landau and Pecker indicates that the self energy is proportional to alpha squared and the Polarin mass scales as alpha to the power of four. The Landau Pecker variational calculation yields an upper bound to the Polarin self energy E minus CPL alpha 2 display style E valid for all alpha where CPL display style C underscore place is a constant determined by solving an integro differential equation It was an open question for many years whether this expression was asymptotically exact as alpha tends to infinity Finally, Donsker and Varadon, applying large deviation theory to Feynman's path integral formulation for the self-energy, showed the large alpha exactitude of this Landau-Pecker formula. Later, Lieb and Thomas gave a shorter proof using more conventional methods, and with explicit bounds on the lower order corrections to the Landau-Pecker formula. Feynman introduced a variational principle for path integrals to study the polarin. He simulated the interaction between the electron and the polarization modes by a harmonic interaction between a hypothetical particle and the electron. The analysis of an exactly solvable symmetrical 1D Polarin model, Monte Carlo schemes and other numerical schemes demonstrate the remarkable accuracy of Feynman's path integral approach to the Polarin ground state energy. Experimentally more directly accessible properties of the polarin, such as its mobility and optical absorption, have been investigated subsequently. In the strong coupling limit, alpha 1 display style alpha gg1, the spectrum of excited states of a polarin begins with polarin phonon bound states with energies less than omega 0 display style hbar omega underscore 0, where omega 0 display style omega underscore 0 is the frequency of optical phonons. Polarin optical absorption The expression for the magnetooptical absorption of a polarin is gamma omega minus im sigma omega omega minus omega c minus re sigma omega Two plus I'm sigma omega two three display style gamma omega propto frac operator name I'm sigma omega left omega omega underscore mathrm c operator name re sigma omega right caret two plus left operator name I'm sigma omega right caret two q quad q quad q quad three here omega c display style omega underscore c is the cyclotron frequency for a rigid band electron the magnetooptical absorption gamma omega at the frequency omega takes the form sigma omega is the so-called memory function which describes the dynamics of the polarin Sigma omega depends also on alpha beta what is beta and omega c display style omega underscore c in the absence of an external magnetic field omega c equals 0 display style omega underscore c equals 0 the optical absorption spectrum 3 of the polarin at weak coupling is determined by the absorption of radiation energy which is remitted in the form of low phonons at larger coupling alpha 5.9 display style alpha geq 5.9 the polarin can undergo transitions toward a relatively stable internal excited state called the relaxed excited state res c fig 2 the res peak in the spectrum also has a phonon sideband which is related to a franck condon type transition a comparison of the DSG results with the optical conductivity spectra given by approximation free numerical and approximate analytical approaches as given in REF. Calculations of the optical conductivity for the Froelich polarin performed within the diagrammatic quantum Monte Carlo method, C fig. 3, fully confirm the results of the path integral variational approach at alpha 3. 
Display style alpha less m three in the intermediate coupling regime three alpha six. Display style three the low energy behavior and the position of the maximum of the optical conductivity spectrum of ref follow well the prediction of ref. There are the following qualitative differences between the two approaches in the intermediate and strong coupling regime. In ref, the dominant peak broadens and the second peak does not develop, giving instead rise to a flat shoulder in the optical conductivity spectrum at alpha equals 6. Display style alpha equals 6. This behavior can be attributed to the optical processes with participation of two or more phonons. The nature of the excited states of a polarin needs further study. The application of a sufficiently strong external magnetic field allows one to satisfy the resonance condition omega equals omega c plus re sigma omega display style omega equals omega underscore mathrm c plus operator name re sigma omega, which for omega c omega display style omega underscore c determines the polarin cyclotron resonance frequency. From this condition, also the polarin cyclotron mass can be derived. Using the most accurate theoretical Polarin models to evaluate sigma omega display style sigma omega, the experimental cyclotron data can be well accounted for. Evidence for the Polarin character of charge carriers in silver one bromide and silver one chloride was obtained through high precision cyclotron resonance experiments in external magnetic fields up to 16 T. The all coupling magneto absorption calculated in REF leads to the best quantitative agreement between theory and experiment for silver one bromide and silver one chloride. This quantitative interpretation of the cyclotron resonance experiment in silver 1 bromide and silver 1 chloride by the theory of REF provided one of the most convincing and clearest demonstrations of Froelich polarin features in solids. Experimental data on the magnetopolarin effect, obtained using far infrared photoconductivity techniques, have been applied to study the energy spectrum of shallow donors in polar semiconductor layers of cadmium telluride. The polarin effect well above the low phonon energy was studied through cyclotron resonance measurements, e.g., in EV semiconductors, observed in ultra high magnetic fields. The resonant polarin effect manifests itself when the cyclotron frequency approaches the low phonon energy in sufficiently high magnetic fields. <laughs> Polarins in two dimensions and in quasi-2D structures The great interest in the study of the two-dimensional electron gas has also resulted in many investigations on the properties of polarons in two dimensions. A simple model for the 2D polarin system consists of an electron confined to a plane, interacting via the Froelich interaction with the low phonons of a 3D surrounding medium. The self-energy and the mass of such a 2D polarin are no longer described by the expressions valid in 3D, for weak coupling they can be approximated as Delta E Omega approximately equals minus Pi two alpha minus zero point zero six three nine seven alpha two four Display style FRAC delta E HBAR Omega approximately FRAC Pi two alpha minus zero point zero six three nine seven alpha carrot two Q quad Q quad Q quad four M M approximately equals one plus Pi eight alpha plus 0.1272348 alpha 2 5 display style frac m caret asterisk m approximately 1 plus frac pi 8 alpha plus 0.1272348 alpha caret 2 q quad q quad q quad 5 it has been shown that simple scaling relations exist, connecting the physical properties of polarons in 2D with those in 3D. An example of such a scaling relation is m 2 d alpha m 2 d equals m 3 d 3 4 pi alpha m 3 d 6 
Display style frac m underscore 2d caret asterisk alpha m underscore 2d equals frac m underscore 3d caret asterisk frac 3 4 pi alpha m underscore 3d q quad q quad q quad 6, where m 2 d display style m underscore mathrm 2d caret asterisk m 3 D display style m underscore mathrm 3d caret asterisk and m 2 d display style m underscore mathrm 2d m 3 d display style m underscore mathrm 3d are respectively the polarin and the electron band masses in 2d 3d the effect of the confinement of a frolic polarin is to enhance the effective polarin coupling. However, many particle effects tend to counterbalance this effect because of screening. Also in 2D systems, cyclotron resonance is a convenient tool to study polarin effects. Although several other effects have to be taken into account, nonparabolicity of the electron bands, many body effects, the nature of the confining potential, etc., the polarin effect is clearly revealed in the cyclotron mass. An interesting 2D system consists of electrons on films of liquid He. In this system the electrons couple to the ripplons of the liquid He, forming ripolopolarons. The effective coupling can be relatively large and, for some values of the parameters, self-trapping can result. The acoustic nature of the ripplon dispersion at long wavelengths is a key aspect of the trapping. For gallium-3 arsenide, ALXGA1-XA's quantum wells and superlattices, the polarin effect is found to decrease the energy of the shallow donor states at low magnetic fields and leads to a resonant splitting of the energies at high magnetic fields. The energy spectra of such polaronic systems is shallow donors. Bound polarins. E. G, the D0 and D- centers, constitute the most complete and detailed polarin spectroscopy realized in the literature. In gallium-3 arsenide, aluminium arsenide quantum wells with sufficiently high electron density, anticrossing of the cyclotron resonance spectra has been observed near the gallium-3 arsenide transverse optical to phonon frequency rather than near the gallium-3 arsenide low phonon frequency. This anticrossing near the diphonon frequency was explained in the framework of the polarin theory. Besides optical properties, many other physical properties of polarins have been studied, including the possibility of self trapping, polarin transport, magnetophonon resonance, etc. <laughs> <laughs> Extensions of the polarin concept Significant are also the extensions of the polarin concept, acoustic polarin, piezoelectric polarin, electronic polarin, bound polarin, trapped polarin, spin polarin, molecular polarin, solvated polarins, polaronic exciton, Jan-Teller polarin, small polarin, bipolarons and many polarin systems. These extensions of the concept are invoked, e. G, to study the properties of conjugated polymers, colossal magnetoresistance perovskites, high T C display style T underscore C superconductors, layered magnesium boride superconductors, fullerenes, quasi 1D conductors, semiconductor nanostructures. The possibility that polarons and bipolarons play a role in high T C display style T underscore C Superconductors has renewed interest in the physical properties of many polarin systems and, in particular, in their optical properties. Theoretical treatments have been extended from one polarin to many polarin systems. A new aspect of the polarin concept has been investigated for semiconductor nanostructures. The exciton phonon states are not factorizable into an adiabatic product ANSATS, so that a non adiabatic treatment is needed. The non-adiabaticity of the exciton phonon systems leads to a strong enhancement of the phonon-assisted transition probabilities as compared to those treated adiabatically and to multiphonon optical spectra that are considerably different from the franck condon progression even for small values of the electron-phonon coupling constant as is the case for typical semiconductor nanostructures. In biophysics Davidov soliton is a propagating along the protein alpha helix self-trapped amide I excitation that is a solution of the Davidov-Hamiltonian. 
The mathematical techniques that are used to analyze Davidov's soliton are similar to some that have been developed in Polarin theory. In this context the Davidov soliton corresponds to a Polarin that is I large so the continuum limit approximation in justified, E acoustic because the self-localization arises from interactions with acoustic modes of the lattice, and e weakly coupled because the anharmonic energy is small compared with the phonon bandwidth. It has been shown that the system of an impurity in a Bose-Einstein condensate is also a member of the Polarin family. This allows the hitherto inaccessible strong coupling regime to be studied, since the interaction strengths can be externally tuned through the use of a Feshbach resonance. This was recently realized experimentally by two research groups. The existence of the polarin in a Bose-Einstein condensate was demonstrated for both attractive and repulsive interactions, including the strong coupling regime. See also. Exciton Sigurd Zinau